rising food costs, employment challenges, inflation. Owning and operating a restaurant has never been harder. There are over 500,000 independent restaurants in the United States, and every single one of them is fighting to survive. And I should know. I own two restaurants myself, Cannon Fine Dining Michelin rated restaurant in East Sacramento, and Franquette Wine Bar and Cafe in West Sacramento. Now, during the pandemic, there was widespread adoption of online ordering. Companies like Postmates, Grubhub, DoorDash made billions of dollars off the backs of operators like me, sometimes taking up to 40% of every dollar coming in through the door. Now, online ordering is here to stay, but what needs to change is the unsustainable one-sided business relationship that these vendors have preying on our industry's desperation for cash flow. Restaurants have had it up to here, and that's why we created Restaurant. So, um, Restaurant offers a suite of solutions that can generate additional revenue for restaurants on top of what they're already doing. Here's an example of some of the solutions that we're providing. We have Barker, exclusive promotions for restaurants to create exclusive deals and offers. We have Vesti, creating membership clubs so that restaurants can have recurring uh, revenue through exclusive uh, promotions with members. We have Course Code, which is an ADA compliant web builder so that restaurants can have better digital presence. And we have Order Go, which is more cost effective online ordering. All these solutions are housed under one platform called Restaurant. You can think of it like a digital toolbox with revenue enhancement tools that they can pull out whenever needed. Currently, we're beta testing our uh, flagship product called Barker, and we're already seeing some impressive results. One of our restaurant partners has seen a 700% increase in orders over their weekly average uh, just by sharing an enticing exclusive offer through our platform. And uh, what we're doing is we're focusing on a regional launch in, uh, throughout the rest of the year, looking to onboard 50 more restaurant partners. We have 10 active uh, restaurant partners right now. And then we're looking to implement a multi-market launch in 2023. Restaurants are the backbones of our community. They offer a place to celebrate. They offer a place for nourishment, a place of employment, and lifelong mem memories. Restaurants deserve better, and we're here to help. So what we're looking for today is introductions to uh, restaurant owners and operators. So if you know any, please let us know. Um, we're also looking to be introduced to go-to-market and uh, growth gurus. And we're also looking for investment mentors that have gone through multiple rounds of investments and uh, exits. If you'd like to learn more, we have a booth here today, or you can visit us at saverestaurants.io. Thank you. Great job, and congrats on the success of the restaurants. I, I love Canon. Um, Thank you. As you think about which types of restaurants uh, this really applies to, uh, the revenue enhancements and growth for larger, finer dining places and having experiences crafted makes a lot of sense. But a lot of the smaller restaurants, I think, do require and they rely on the, the door dashes of the world to kind of drive volume. Um, is this something that requires you starting at kind of the top echelons of the nicest restaurants and working down? Or do you think that this is something that can solve that pain point for kind of the smaller restaurants today? So that's a great question. So we don't necessarily see us as needing to replace a Postmates or a DoorDash for those mom and pop restaurants. This is about creating supplemental revenue on top of what they're already doing. Now, those platforms do take a lot of their dollars and put them on a cycle of, you know, that's really unsustainable, right? Restaurants make 10 to 15% profit. These uh, platforms are taking 40% of every dollar coming in the door. They're losing money every time a customer comes in. So we're providing an alternative solution that they can use hand in hand with the other solutions that they have. But hopefully one day, maybe we can wean them off of some of that uh, unsustainable relationship uh, that they have with those other partners. That's great. Um in terms of kind of how you how you get there, I mean, I know that it's an incredibly fragmented market. I was surprised to know that, you know, Open Table, Yelp, all these together make up a tiny fraction of all the restaurants out there. But it is it is very difficult to kind of penetrate it. 
Um, how do you see yourself getting in front of all of these? Is it partnering with reservation systems? Like, you know, we have the, the talks and the resis of the world. Uh, how, how do you see yourself getting into a lot of these restaurants um, without having to, you know, go dialing each one of them in typical inside sales? Yeah, so, you know, initially our focus is building traction locally, but of course what will help us build greater traction and have greater scale is relationships with point of sale systems or reservation systems so that we're integrated with the solutions that they can provide. So if a point of sale system has 40% of the market and we can integrate with them, now we certainly need them to help promote, you know, why those restaurant partners should use us, but it certainly makes us available uh, to a greater scale if we can partner with point of sale system reservation systems and we're not competing with them either we're you know kind of an add-on service that's really you know has an ethos to help restaurants uh, thrive and survive no, I love the mission um, that's awesome Sorry. That's great, and from the restaurant owners that I've spoken to, they share the exact same concern that, that, you, that you've highlighted. Um, one thing I, I might consider is, is you have an awesome vision, and I can see exactly how that vision would fit into, um, you know, really creating profitability for the restaurant, um, and I can see that vision. One thing I might think about is, is you have four or five modules, and narrowing in on that one module that really moves the needle developing it really well and getting the sales cycle going on that so you can create revenue, build your development team, and then invest in your number two, number three, number four module and be able to cross sell that into your base. Um, I think that's gonna be a, a path that will, that will do well for you. Great. Um, congratulations. Thank you.